Hello students, welcome back to science. I am Mr. Gauri Gold. We are going to explore all about pulleys, wheel and axle. At the end of this lesson, we should 1. Define key vocabulary terms 2. Examine types of simple machines and 3. Investigate how simple machines make work easier. Let's get started. Do you remember these simple machines from grades 4 and 5? A. Lever. Very good. B. Incline plane. Excellent. C. A wedge. Very good. And D. A screw. Good job, student. Let us look at the definition of key terms. Work is done on an object when a force moves the object through a distance. A pulley is a machine that is made up of a rope or chain and a wheel around which the rope fits. A pulley that stays in one place is called a fixed pulley. A pulley that moves up and down is called a movable pulley. A wheel and axle is made up of a large wheel attached to a smaller wheel or rod. Name two parts of a pulley. Two parts of a pulley are a rope, chain and a wheel. You are correct. What is made up of a larger wheel attached to a smaller wheel? It is wheel and axle. You are correct. How do you know when work is being done on an object? The force moves the object through a distance. You are correct. Find the term movable pulley. A movable pulley moves up and down. You are correct. Which type of pulley stays in one place? A fixed pulley stays in one place. You are correct. Here are the different types of simple machines. A pulley. As you can see in the picture, when you pull down on one rope end, the wheel turns and the other rope end moves up. Fixed pulley. It is used to raise and lower something lightweight, such as a flag or a small sail. Movable pulley. One end of the rope is tied down. The load is hooked to the pulley. Pulling upon the rope makes both the pulley and the load rise. Wheel and axle. A doorknob is part of a wheel and axle. The large round knob turns a smaller axle. Here are two other examples where you can find a wheel and axle on a bicycle and on a wheelbarrow. How do simple machines make work easier? Let's find out. Is it a fixed pulley or a movable pulley? Explain how it is used. It is a movable pulley. It is used to lift objects that are very heavy and it makes work much easier. You are correct. Very good. Examine the picture below. Is it a fixed pulley or a movable pulley? Explain how it is used. It is a fixed pulley. Is used to open and close the blinds. Very good.
What about number three? Is it a fixed pulley or a movable pulley? Explain how it is used. It is a movable pulley. It is used to lower the bucket. Very good. Green pop. Beep beep. Green pop. Green pop. Identify the following simple machines below. A pulley. You are correct. Wheel and axle. You are correct. Differentiate between a fixed pulley and a movable pulley. A fixed pulley stays in one place and a movable pulley is free to move up and down. You are correct. Very good. Science experiment for the week. How to make a fixed pulley using a hanger. Students, please read the instructions carefully. Once you want to follow the instructions, you should be able to create your science experiment. Have fun and good luck. It's time for recap. Work is done on an object when a force moves the object through a distance. People have some machines to make work easier. A fixed pulley makes work easier. It is made up of a rope or chain and a wheel around which the rope fits. A movable pulley is free to move up and down. One end of the rope is tied down. The load is hooked to the pulley. The wheel and axle is a machine consisting of a wheel attached to a smaller axle so that these two parts rotate together in which a force is transferred from one to the other. Kudos to you students, you have done a fantastic job during this science lesson. I can't wait to see you next time for another amazing science lesson. Enjoy!